This video is all about curry lobster meat. I'm showing you how I curry lobster meat. And I am using the meat from the lobster's head. You know, I purchased it at the fishing village. Fresh and nice, everything like that. And then I am seasoning it with salt and just a few spices. And the spices have mild flavors because I don't want to use a lot of spices or spices with strong flavors to mask the natural taste of the lobster's meat. I just like to keep everything, you know, simple and nice. You know, I want the, the natural flavor from the lobster's meat to come through, right? onion and add peppers and garlic for fresh herbs because I don't want to use like scallion and thyme and sweet peppers and all of them something there like me say we just want to keep it light and simple because I don't want to mask the taste of the lobster's meat by over seasoning it <music> about two teaspoons of vegetable oil and then I saute the fresh herbs over low heat until they become soft or translucent is the cooker term used yes and then I use the curry now I use a light flavor curry I use island spice curry instead of the in Indian curry um, which is a bit heavier in taste so, like I said, I want to keep the flavors from the lobster's flesh afloat. I want it to be on top of everything, right? I want it to come through. So, I'm using everything that have mild flavors. So, yeah, I use the island spice curry. And then, you don't know, I burn the curry into the hot oil. And then, I pour in just enough water. Maybe it's half cup or one cup I did measure, um, measure it and then I cover the pot and allow the curry to cook <music> minutes the curry is cooked and the water reduces so it's time for me to put the lobster's meat into the pot and I want a bit of gravy yeah so if you don't want gravy you can allow the water to reduce some more before adding the lobster's meat anyway the curry the color of the curry is not coming through because this camera does not work well with night light it's best for day recording and that's why I tried my very best to work with the natural light, but sometimes circumstances don't allow it. So now I put the lobster's meat into the pot and then I use a fork to start, you know, to get everything well combined. And then I cover the pot and I simmer the lobster's meat for about five minutes. Because you know you can't cook it too long, it will turn rubbery. So yeah man, that's simple as that. This is it, my curried lobster meat. And I put it under the light, which is under the kitchen cupboard, the top kitchen cupboard. There's a light under the bottom, you know. So yeah, the real color is coming through. This light is not accessible from the stove top, but this is it. Very delicious, very nice. I'm having it with Broccoli, steamed broccoli, steamed carrots, and roti, and um, some nice water. <laughs> yeah, man. And if you tell you, you're really, really nice, stay good, stay blessed. 